a trip to the beach is an adventure in discovery. Now look out at the ocean's surface. You can see all the way to the horizon. In late November 2021, I began writing this script. The thesis of it was that I felt like my life was out of control. And that feeling has, by and large, persisted as I've continued plunking away at this script. For a brief portion of my adult life, I felt like I was in control. But these past few years have been an exhaustive exercise in the limits of my capacity for optimism. So perhaps it should come as no surprise that one of my most played games of 2021, and most of 2022 at this point, is one where I have complete blissful control over its gameplay. I press the A button on my Switch three times, and with a soft chime I am transported into the skies above the endless archipelagos of Grizzly Games Islanders. Islanders is serenity encapsulated. Islanders is a game made for people for whom the witness pillow soft graphical presentation and adamantium hard puzzles were a bit too discordant. Islanders is for people who played Civilization and said, wait, can I just build the cities? But for whom something like SimCity was just a bit too complex to properly enjoy. It's for people who wished Lego Island had let them design the island upon which their adventures would take place. Islanders is for people whose lives are out of control. Since 2019, the word control has been lodged in my brain like a David Lynchian splinter, though the festering incorporeality of the concept would not manifest as tangible, interactable experience until 2021, when I first downloaded Islanders. This is control. Islanders makes you a god, or at least god-adjacent, demigod, perhaps. You are not the original creator of these islands, they already exist when you arrive. You are merely the arbiter of who will live atop them, and where. You have no goal beyond construction and population. And then, when you've reached the limit of that island's capacity for development, you'll leave, moving onward through the fog of the endless sea toward a new world, a new city, and a new people. Will the people of that island remember you? Will they continue building upon and developing their tiny island in your absence? Will they build monuments to you? It doesn't matter. The joy is in the creation. But what is Islanders really? At, at first blush, one might think it is a management game, given its surface-level similarities to other city-building simulators. But Islanders has no management mechanics. You are god. You do not need to worry about collecting lumber to build these houses. You simply will them into existence, and you are given but one opportunity to re-will them before their existence upon your island is made permanent. So, if not a management game, perhaps Islanders is a puzzler. One might look upon the Tetrisian construction of islanders' little houses, mansions, and intertwining vegetative pathways, and see the ghostly fingerprints of myriad block-based puzzle games. And here we get a little closer to the truth of islanders. Uh, there are two modes in islanders, high score and sandbox, with high score being the unspoken default mode. In high score mode, each building is worth a certain number of points, with the total point value of its placement contingent on what other buildings or landmarks are around the spot in which the building is placed. This is Islander's single, gamey mechanic. This gaminess, though minimal, is still quite important. I played around in the sandbox mode for maybe 20 minutes, but then it was unsatisfying. I needed that extra bit of gaminess to keep pushing me forward, to push me to create. That's why I think, though they released around the same time on Switch, I only played a few hours of Townscaper and, uh, this many in Islanders. Play Islanders long enough and the reality of its identity becomes clear. Islanders is a narrative game. 
In the beginning, your godliness is aimless. You do not yet know how these islands will come together. You're merely placing bits of infrastructure upon them with the same reckless abandon of a child building a city of wooden blocks and discarded boxes. There is still joy here in seeing your tiny world come together, even though you quickly realize as each new building is placed and the empty real estate upon your island becomes shockingly sparse, that it could be better. And so now you move on to your next island. Now you know the rules of your godliness a little better. The fact that mansions score better near certain other buildings and not near, for example, a circus or walls in an odd bucking against the gentrification norms one might expect from people who live in mansions allows you to better plan out your island right from the first moment you appear in the skies above it. You learn that almost everything scores better near a city center, but the city center scores better when placed between larger industrial buildings like mills and masons. You might be given a supply of logging or stoneworking buildings right at the beginning of your new island's life. Perhaps you think to yourself, these are the first settlers on this island, the workers and through their efforts the rest of the city will be built. You lay down those first buildings where you can, and then the city begins to take shape around them. Perhaps the first homes you place are not the homes of incoming colonists, but the homes of those first workers. Fields are planted from which these eager explorers might feed themselves through future seasons. Soon enough supplies have been gathered to warrant the construction of warehouses, and soon after that markets in which to sell the city's goods. The story of your island is unspoken, documented nowhere except in the memory of you, the god of this place, but that does not make it any less real. The geography too will begin to mold the internal narratives of your many little worlds. Some islands are mostly rocky plateaus and steep cliffs, and the creative ways in which your city takes shape create rich stories of the bold explorers who've settled there. Maybe you've arrived on a mostly flat island, in which case you can pack your city together like the bustling little metropolis it's meant to be. And once all the buildings have been placed, and your island is as it will be, now and forever, it's time to move on. On to the next world, to the next island, to the next people, to the next story. Huh, I just had a dream that you didn't like, subscribe, and comment on our videos. Wouldn't that be a tragedy? You should do that so you always know when we have a new video out. Do it now. Good night.